Hi, friends. Hi. Welcome to our 15th annual Munch Mingle Mood. We are so happy that you are able to join us on our live Zoom today. We just have a couple of announcements before we get started. This Zoom is being recorded. For all families in the first. Okay, now you've got to stay close. And don't feel comfortable with your children's face being on Zoom. Recorded. Now listen. Amaya, you're not listening. We're also asking you to change the name below to your child's first initial and last name so we can take attendance. So you can do that by clicking on the three dots on the corner of your picture and select rename. Remember, first initial and last name so we can take attendance. And if you do not want to be recorded, you can turn off the camera. My name is Miss April, and we are going to do hand washing today. Just a couple of things for you guys to know. I need everybody to have their little bag of glitter. So if you can find that, we will need that for our hand washing. So everybody have that? Right. So I need, you guys have little hands, we have big hands. So you guys can dip your hands in there. She's saying, no, that's enough. What do you think? What do you think? What do you gotta do to get the germs off? There's a couple things to do. If you were at home, you can wash your hands in the sink. But if you're out and you have the germs, you may just have um, the spray or the little antibacterial, like this. Okay, go ahead, go ahead and rinse your hands, get them wet. Just a little bit. The best way to get rid of it is a little bit. Okay, do her now. No, you got her. You got run real good. Now we hand out, and we are going to sink. Okay, rub, rub good, rinse them good. When you wash your hands, see how they're washing your hands on there? That's what you got to do. So we have to wash your hands for okay, you got to rinse them. You got to wash them. You got to rub and get all this stuff off now. Dry, dry your hands. I need mean, it's this bag in here. It's coffee glitter. We gotta get the glitter cleaned up over there in the field. <laughs> Don't open anything, Koshi, until I tell you. Too much. I'm gonna watch this. <laughs> Oh my god. 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 Oh my
Wait, 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 my glass. You're not singing. That's, that's how long it takes to get your hands taken care of. Wash your hands. Get your paper towel. Get them all ready to try. But you didn't sing. Some of them has her arms Put them in the bag over here. Then you got to wash your hands. Put them in the bag. 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 Put them in the and then here you sing tinkle, twinkle, twinkle, little star. We go, what do we got now? A little aisle. I can't feel it. I can't feel it. I can't feel it. Turn the volume down. I turn the volume up. Well, I don't know what to tell you. A whole bunch of them all day. You have to do it. Your hands clean. Mommy, I'm going to show soil. I know, but because it's why they're not. It's Hi, come here. Mommy, I'm going to put this. Oh, this. There's no sound. Your mom put your pictures up. Mommy, which one is Johnny? Johnny. I don't know what that is. Actually. Out your hands, my friends. Are they nice and clean? Uh, sit down. Sit down. Mm -hmm. Got to make sure you get all the glitter off for your turn. And we got to make sure you keep your hands nice and Teacher, see? Oh, Can you throw underneath your sausage and watch this? Move, I can't get this. Did it work? Like I said, you may have to wash your hands. It on us. How do you view? Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. So we have our handout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can always put this above your sink. Mm -hmm. Do staff then. <laughs> That's my Glass best. scrub is really good, right? Rinse and dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands properly. Okay. 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 What are we going to do? So, wait for the recording. And remember, okay, friends, sing twinkle, twinkle, or you can sing, you can count to 20, because it is 20 seconds. You can count to 20, you can sing birthday, it's your birthday. You can do twinkle, twinkle. There's so many different ways that you can wash your hands. Did everybody get their glitter off? Yes. Um, yes. When you go outside and you come in, you need to wash your hands also. Get the germs off. And before you sit down to the, to eat something, you need to wash your hands. And when you go to the toilet, go potty, you need to wash your hands. So that's a good thing to get in practice. Malaysia. Every day. Is that it? Do you guys have any questions? 
Do you have any questions on how to wash your hands? I don't. You don't. Progress. Remember, if you want to keep your hands nice and clean and burn free. Okay, can everyone Pleasure. hear me? Okay, I'm Tina Birthlock from Bay County Behavioral Health Early Intervention Program. Um, children can be referred to the Birth to Three program. Families have a concern that their child may not be meeting their milestones. They have a diagnosed condition or the pediatrician tells them to give us a call because of a concern they have. EIA yeah. is an entitlement program in Pennsylvania to any child eligible yeah. for services and supports and services are provided at no cost to families. In order for a child to be eligible for referral, the child must be younger than three years of age and a resident of Fayette County. A child who's been referred must be found eligible or ineligible within 45 calendar days from the date of the referral. Anyone can make a referral to EI, but the parent must be informed of that referral. And families have the right to accept or decline services regardless of the referral source. Um, so let's talk about eligibility. The child must meet one of the following criteria in order to be eligible for EI supports and services. They must have at least a 25% delay in one or more areas of development. Um, they can have a medical diagnosis that generally results in a developmental delay, or they can be eligible based on informed clinical opinion by a qualified professional that an existing condition may cause a child to, to exhibit a delay in the future. Once a referral is made, a service coordinator, an SC, is assigned to the child and family. An initial visit and family assessment meeting is scheduled between the family and the SC. <laughs> This assessment meeting is typically held at the family home unless otherwise requested by the family. The primary role of an SC is to locate, coordinate, and monitor services and supports to early intervention children and their families. The SC is the first point of contact. They have a wealth of information about EI and go above and beyond to get whatever the family may need. They schedule all needed EI meetings for the child. The SC can also assist a family that has private assurance apply for medical assistance via the PH95 loophole. They can lo locate daycare providers and access community and medical supports. Once the SC has completed that initial visit and family assessment meeting with the child and family, a multidisciplinary evaluation, which is called an MDE, is scheduled. A referral is made to one of our two independent assessment teams. Every child is, is evaluated in five developmental areas. All initial evaluations and re-evaluations are completed in the family's natural environment with the family present. Currently, teams are using the BDI-3. The BDI-3 is child-friendly, easy to administer, with clear and efficient item scoring criteria. It is a play-based assessment. This evaluation creates a comprehensive picture of a child's skills across all developmental areas. The results of the evaluation are shared with the family at the completion of the evaluation. Sometimes evaluations can take up to one and a half hours or more. After the evaluation is completed, the independent assessment team will review the results with the family and the team. As a result of that MDE, the child is either determined eligible, meaning they have at least a 25% delay in one or more areas of development, ineligible, meaning they're age appropriate in all developmental areas, eligible for tracking and screening, or informed clinical opinion while the child is not scoring at a 25% delay, but it is in the informed clinical opinion of a qualified professional that an existing condition may cause a child to exhibit a delay in the future. And just to talk a little more about the tracking process, regardless of eligibility, the family can choose to enroll the child in tracking. And we track kiddos for any of the following reasons, chemically dependent mother, extreme prematurity, which is low birth weight, NICU stay, documented lead exposure, substantiated abuse, neglect, homelessness, and county follow-up. When a family agrees to have their child tracked, the SC will meet with the family every 90 days or whenever the family decides to complete the ages and stages questionnaire, the ASQ. The family could also request that the ASQ be sent to the family and the SC can score it. All results are discussed and appropriate recommendations are given. Based on the results of the ASQ, the SC can recommend continued tracking 
an independent evaluation or discharge from the program. The family can request that an independent evaluation be completed at any time while the child is in tracking. If a child is found eligible after the MDE, individual, individual family service plan, it's an IFSP is developed. Um, the family must give consent and complete that IFSP. The IFSP is a flu fluid document that can be revised at any time. Services included on the IFSP may include special instruction, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, special instruction, nutrition, hearing, vision, or behavior, and service coordination. Services are based on what the child's needs as they were determined by the MDE and the family's concerns. The IFSP is developed by the family and the EI team and includes the following. The family's priorities and concerns, the child's present ability, strengths, and unique needs, outcome strategies to address the child's developmental needs and how the family can incorporate into daily uh, routines. All outcomes are written with home-based coaching in mind. Home-based coaching is an interactive process of observation, instruction, and reflection. And the IFSP also has a list of services being provided to the child. Family has a choice of providers. The SASC educates the family about the transition process. At age two years and three months, the SC begins developing a formal transition plan as a part of the child's IFSP. 90 to 270 days prior to the child's third birthday, a formal transition plan is developed if the family wants their child to transition to the three to five year old school program. At this meeting, options for preschool services, which includes Head Start, are discussed as well as any special therapies and or adaptations the child may need. If needed, a formal MDE is completed by the IU to determine a child's continued eligibility for services. 10 days prior to the child's third birthday, an individual education plan, an IEP, is held and a plan developed outlining the services the child will receive upon their third birthday. The results of the child's MDE will be reviewed at the transition meeting. All outcomes and strategies and services the child will receive when they turn three are discussed at this meeting. All services from the IU will begin on the day the child turns three. If a child transitions out of the EI program prior to their third birthday, the SC will ask the family if they wanted a community transition. The SC will assist the family in locating resources and supports outside of the EI system. The SC will make referrals as appropriate on behalf of the family. If a child moves out of county and the family would like to continue with EI services, the SC supervisor can do a transfer with family permission to the county in Pennsylvania they are moving to. If a child moves out of Pennsylvania, the SC will make all attempts to find the EI program in the area that child and family are relocating to and provide the family with information on how to obtain the services in that state. So we have three funding sorts in the state of uh, Pennsylvania for early intervention. We use medical assistance, the infant toddler family waiver, and that's for children who are eligible for medical assistance and demonstrate a 50% 50 50 delay in one developmental area or a 33% delay in two developmental areas. And we also use state and county funding for children who are not eligible for medical assistance. So if you, have, if you need more information or you need to make a referral to us, you can contact Fayette County Behavioral Health Administration at 215 Jacob Murphy Lane, Uniontown, PA. The number is 724-430-1370. You can also get on the, the Department of Human Services website and go into Compass and you can make a referral there. You also can call Connect at 1-800-692-7288. And uh, this is a helpline that assists families in locating resources and providing, in providing information regarding child development for children's ages birth to age five. Um, at this point in time, our EI supervisors are Danielle Paschke and Aaron Trincia, and I am the EI coordinator, and we have six um, service coordinators. Um, that's about all I have. I don't know if anyone has any questions. I know I went through it pretty quickly. It's a very comprehensive program, and it's hard to put it in 10 minutes. So, um, But if anyone has any questions, I'm available for that. Thank you so much for participating this year. Whether you joined us live or will be watching our recording, you will soon be receiving an email with a survey. Please take a moment and complete the survey. Your feedback and comments are important to us. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.
Thank you.